Hey everyone, talking about Fleur d'Orange collection, the Orange Blossom collection by Sylvain Delacour. She was the perfume creative director for 15 years at Guerlain. She created over 70 perfumes for them, so definitely a heavy hitter in the fragrance industry. She has several series that are all based around a certain raw, iconic note, and this one is about Orange Blossom. And she chooses a different way to create each one, each of the things. So it's not just like five really similar orange blossom scents, or at least not supposed to be. Let's find out if it actually is or not. All are cruelty free. They're made without harmful chemicals, environmentally friendly with recyclable packaging. I hope they mean the bottle because otherwise like aren't most boxes that they come in recyclable. But anyway, let's dive in. So the first one is called Oranzo. This has notes of neroli, pedigree, bitter orange, orange blossom, green notes, rosemary, clementine, tarragon, musk, and jasmine. And the theme of this was supposed to be frosty orange blossom with a cascade of cool water. So it's definitely a refreshing, cooling orange blossom scent as promised by the theme. Very brisk and the green is done really well. It adds this like bracing freshness without going bitter, which can be a little bit hard to do when you have stuff like tarragon and some of the other you know kind of heavier green notes in there to me it leans a bit more feminine than you'd expect from a typical kind of green orange blossom scent which are usually more standard unisex all of these i should say are marketed unisex but as we know that doesn't always mean they aren't kind of stereotypically leaning in one direction this is certainly not extremely feminine overall it definitely could be unisex just don't think that the green is turning it into something overly masculine whether that's a good or bad thing for you don't expect a lot of sillage or projection, not just for this, but I would say for most of these in there, but I think you have to kind of know what you're going for with orange blossom scents anyway. It's such a delicate note that's not usually going to be something that's blasting. And if it is, there's probably too much musk in there. So then this has like a musky, soapy dry down. So this is a good one if you like kind of just a clean, cool, refreshing orange blossom with some green in it that doesn't go too over the top kind of cloud of creamy sweetness and kind of like more of a 47 alone cologne type of thing neroli portofino like kind of that style a little bit more but yeah it's nice all of these are 145 dollars for a hundred mil and i'm not gonna say one by one whether i think that's worth the price for these because i think overall it's pretty fair they all smell very high quality even the ones that aren't my favorite and given her experience and the high quality materials used yeah i think 145 for 100 mil is fair Next up, we've got Olysia that has notes of jasmine, orange blossom, bitter orange, pedigree, cardamom, mandarin orange musk, sandalwood, and vetiver. And the concept of this one is orange blossom with velvety petals and a touch of jasmine. So I would say there's more than a touch of jasmine. It's green, aromatic orange blossom with slightly indolic jasmine and some very light spice. So yeah, the cardamom's here, but it's not something where... I don't even know if you'd notice there was cardamom in here if you didn't specifically know, but it does add kind of like a light, nice spice in the background. This is definitely more feminine leaning. Again, it smells high quality and elegant. It's not my type of scent. I think besides even of it being more feminine leaning than my taste, it's just that jasmine's a little bit too indolic. It's not at all one of those where the jasmine's really pungent indolic, but I don't like anything. that I love jasmine when it's just like really light and sweet and fresh, and this is a little bit heavier than that. But if you like orange blossom with jasmine, definitely a good one to check out. Next up, we've got Oscarine. Top notes, pine needles and black currant, bergamot and basil. Middle notes, orange blossom and raspberry. And base notes, cypress and woodsy notes. So I was looking forward to this one the most. The description is bright and festive, yet playfully naughty. I mean, that's a little bit vague. That could kind of mean a lot of things, but the notes look good to me. I liked the idea of how green it was and also kind of the raspberry. And I love cypress and woodsy notes. So this is a clean, green, sweet orange blossom. It's more soft and gentle than I thought it might be from some of the notes. I was thinking, you know, pine needles, basil, cypress, woody notes. Like this, I sounded like it was going to be a little bit more, yeah, kind of like oomph and punch to it. Pretty unisex overall, more so than the other ones that I just talked about. And definitely smells high quality, but it doesn't particularly grab me. But it would be good if you're just looking for like a sweet, green, clean orange blossom that's very inoffensive and just light and kind of versatile, but don't go into it expecting anything that's, I would say, as naughty or kind of bright and festive as the description makes it sound, because it's a little bit more laid than back than that, but nonetheless, not bad at all. Next up, we've got 
Ozkin, and this has tonka bean, leather, heliotrope, patchouli, orange blossom, cinnamon, saffron, mandarin orange, immortelle, bergamot, and rose. This is described as orange blossom with leathery notes that's luminous and pronounced yet gentle. Again, a little bit of a vague marketing description there, but it smells very refined and high quality. Uh, the leathery side of this is not dirty or animalic at all. I would say this is by far the most unisex as opposed to some of them being a little bit more feminine leaning of this Sylvain Delacorte series of orange blossom. It's like a clean kind of tame leather bag filled with orange blossom, some tonka bean powder, and slightly dirty yet soapy patchouli. So the leather here isn't the dirty kind at all, but and the patchouli, it's not at all intense dirty. Like I don't think most people would think it is. I just really don't like this type of patchouli that much. It does smell really refined though. It's a more unique take on orange blossom than most scents out there. So if you like the idea of one that's like not as much of like a sweetie pie, you know, freshy scent as some orange blossoms are, this does have kind of a bit more of a edge to it. Yeah, and kind of a nice sort of powdery leather. Not over the top or that much leather. I would could have used more actually, but yeah, really high end. It almost smells like kind of a high end soap, but less feminine leaning than that might sound. Lastly, we've got Osiris. This has clementine, sesame, pink pepper, orange blossom, honey, clary sage, benzoin, sandalwood, cedar, and guyac wood. The theme of this one is smooth golden petals heightened by a honey note with a surprise splash of sesame. So to me, it opens smelling like a combination of orange candy and laundry detergent. And I don't mean that in a harsh way, but I also don't mean it as a compliment. So it's just kind of the best way I can think of to describe the scents that I got when I smelled the opening of this. It's pretty sweet and powdery, especially in the beginning. Not my type of scent, definitely leans more feminine. This is for you if you like the idea of a clean, creamy, candied citrus with a musky sort of vibe. I don't even know if there's actually much musk, if any, in this one, but it just has that kind of vibe. Yeah, but very clean in like a laundryish way, but also you get that candied side of it. So clean and candy combination, yep, you might actually really like this. So my overall consensus on these would be all very high quality, all pretty elegant, mostly pretty inoffensive. Not, I don't mean that just as in they're all bland, but just like I don't think any of these would be something where, oh, make sure you don't wear this in a big group of people or something like that. I think you'd probably please anybody who could smell them with any of these, but again, being orange blossom dominated scents, you're not going to be getting massive projection or sillage, nothing against this particular group of orange blossom scents that's just going to be the case for most but yeah and most are more feminine leaning i would definitely recommend checking them out if the notes and kind of the way the vibe that i've described sounds good to you they're not my favorite types of scents but again very high quality they're all pretty refined and elegant and overall yeah I'm, i am impressed with the quality of it i'll say that so if you've tried any of them let me know i will put links in the description where you can get a bottle or a sample of all of them